Hey everyone, welcome back to Disturbing History Mysteries. Today we're diving deep into an incredibly fascinating topic that blends history, culture and science. We're talking about the 10 top types of medicine that Native Americans used. Prepare to be amazed! Sage or Salvia officinalis has been an important herb in various cultures, including Native American tribes. Known for its strong aroma and woody stem, sage has a variety of medicinal properties. The most notable is its antimicrobial characteristic, which makes it effective against bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Native Americans often made a tea from sage leaves for gargling to treat throat conditions or for general drinking to treat intestinal issues. The plant also contains antioxidants that are beneficial in combating oxidative stress. Furthermore, sage has been used in spiritual ceremonies to cleanse spaces and people of negative energies. Apart from its antibacterial attributes, sage contains phytonutrients that aid in mental functions, which may explain its frequent use in memory-boosting remedies. 2. Echinacea Echinacea is a genus of herbaceous flowering plants in the daisy family known for its immune-boosting properties. Native Americans have used Echinacea as a general cure-all for various ailments, ranging from colds and flu to wounds and snake bites. The roots and leaves of the plant can be prepared in different ways, such as teas, tinctures, or ointments. It is believed to stimulate the immune system, increasing the body's ability to fight off infections. Studies have shown that Echinacea can also help reduce inflammation and work as an antioxidant neutralizing harmful free radicals in the body. 3. Willow Bark Willow bark has been an essential component of herbal medicine, not just in Native American traditions, but also in other ancient cultures like those of the Greeks and Egyptians. The bark contains an active compound called salicin, which is metabolized into salicylic acid in the body. Salicylic acid is an anti-inflammatory agent that was the precursor to the acetylsilic acid used in modern aspirin. Native Americans used willow bark in various ways. For instance, they brewed a tea from the bark for fever and other conditions that needed pain management such as arthritis. Some tribes even made a poultice out of the bark and applied it directly to sores, wounds, or areas experiencing pain. Apart from salicin, willow bark is also rich in tannins, flavonoids, and polyphenols which have antioxidant effects. Antioxidants neutralize harmful free radicals thereby reducing oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. As an astringent due to its tanning content, willow bark was often used to treat gastrointestinal issues like diarrhea. The tannins bind to proteins and other organic compounds, tightening the tissue and reducing secretions and bleeding. Practical applications extend to dental care as well. Traditional use includes chewing the bark to relieve toothache pain and improve oral health due to its antimicrobial properties. Because of its antipyretic effect, willow bark was an essential remedy for reducing fever. This made it invaluable in times of illness, even those as severe as smallpox which Native Americans faced after contact with European settlers. Recent scientific investigations have supported the anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving effects of willow bark. Some studies indicate that it can be as effective as aspirin for reducing pain but with fewer side effects like gastrointestinal discomfort. However, it's essential to note that those who are allergic to aspirin should avoid willow bark. 4. Cedar Cedar is not just a single type of tree but refers to several species, most notably the eastern red cedar which is actually a type of juniper. Native American tribes held cedar as a sacred plant, using it not only for its medicinal properties but also in various ceremonies and rituals. The burning of cedar wood was believed to purify the environment and the people, dispelling negative energies. Medicinally, cedar was particularly valued for its effectiveness against respiratory issues. The leaves and bark were often boiled into a strong tea or infusion, which was then either drunk or used for inhalation. These preparations were used to treat asthma, chronic coughs, and bronchitis. The volatile oils found in cedar leaves and wood contain compounds like thujone, which has expectorant properties. These help in clearing fegve from the respiratory system. Besides respiratory issues, cedar wood and leaves also have strong antifungal and antibacterial properties, making them useful for treating various skin conditions. 
A poultice made from cedar leaves could be applied to wounds to prevent infection and speed up healing. The essential oils in the leaves are rich in tannins, which help tighten the skin and could explain their effectiveness in treating conditions like eczema and psoriasis. Another traditional use of cedar was in the treatment of rheumatism and arthritis. Cedar oil was often applied topically to joints and muscles to reduce inflammation and relieve pain. This application stems from cedar's rich content of sesquiterpenes, which have been found to have anti-inflammatory effects. The antifungal properties of cedar also made it useful in food storage. Native Americans often used cedar wood to construct storage bins for grains and other foodstuffs, as it kept away pests and prevented the growth of molds. Recent studies have looked into the potential benefits of cedar oil as an insect repellent, especially against ticks and mosquitoes. This opens the door for its broader application in modern herbal medicine and commercial products. 5. Mullein Mullein's respiratory benefits have long been a subject of traditional knowledge, but modern science has begun to validate many of its properties. Preliminary scientific studies have shown that the herb possesses antibacterial and antiviral activities. Research indicates that it can inhibit the growth of influenza and herpes viruses, suggesting the plant's potential broader antiviral applications. The leaf's soft, woolly texture had other practical uses too. Native Americans used them as insulating material in bedding and clothing. The plant's fibers were sometimes used to make candle licks, and its dried stalks were used as torches. Applications that extend beyond medicine and into daily life and survival techniques. Mollian flowers have a unique place in cosmetic applications as well. An oil infusion from the flowers has been used to soften and protect the skin. This isn't surprising considering that the plant contains mucilage which is known for its moisturizing properties. The flowers have also been used as a natural hair dye, offering a range of colors from blonde to brown depending on the processing method. Another less known application of mullein involves its use as a pesticide, a substance used in fishing to stun fish. Native American tribes sometimes introduced crushed mullein seeds into water bodies, which would have a sedative effect on the fish, making them easier to catch. This application demonstrates the breadth of practical and survival uses for the plant. Recent pharmacological studies have shown that mullein extracts can modulate the immune system highlighting its potential role in managing autoimmune diseases. Research is still ongoing in this area, but early results are promising. 6. Black Cohosh Black Cohosh's uses go beyond the well-known applications for menopausal symptoms and female reproductive health. Native American tribes also use the plant to treat snake bites, using a poultice of the root applied directly to the affected area. The plant's anti-inflammatory properties would reduce the swelling while its analgesic effects would help manage pain. The roots of black cohosh were sometimes dried and used as a spice or added to other herbal mixtures to enhance their effects. This culinary application, however, was less common due to the plant's strong, slightly bitter taste. Interestingly, black cohosh was also used in the tanning of animal hides. Its roots, rich in tannins, helped in the curing process, providing yet another practical application beyond its medicinal uses. In modern herbal medicine, the use of black cohosh has expanded to include its potential benefits for osteoporosis. Initial studies have shown that the plant's phytoestrogenic properties can help improve bone density, though more research is needed in this area. Some tribes used black cohosh in combination with other herbs to treat mental health issues, while the plant's effects on serotonin receptors make it a candidate for treating mood disorders there isn't sufficient scientific evidence to support this application yet. However, the idea is an interesting avenue for future research. Recent research has also begun to explore black cohosh's anti-cancer potential, particularly in hormone-sensitive cancers like breast cancer. Studies have shown that the tritopene glycosides found in the plant can inhibit the growth of cancer cells in vitro, although clinical trials are still needed. Enough wild ginger Wild ginger has a rich folklore that extends beyond its culinary and medicinal uses. The plant was sometimes used in divination and as a charm to attract love or good fortune. From a culinary perspective, the plant's rhizomes were often dried and ground into a powder to use as a spice. On digestive issues, wild ginger has also been used topically. A poultice made from the plant's leaves could be applied to cuts and wounds to promote healing. 
The rhizomes contain essential oils that have shown antimicrobial activity, providing a scientific basis for its traditional use in wound care. The plant has also been used to treat intestinal parasites and was sometimes combined with other herbs for a more comprehensive treatment of digestive issues. Recent studies have shown that wild ginger extracts have promising antioxidant properties, indicating a potential role in preventing cellular damage. 8. Lavender Lavender is a versatile herb with a variety of uses that extend beyond just aromatherapy and skin care. For example, dried lavender flowers are often used in cooking and baking, and its essential oil is used as a natural preservative and flavor enhancer in various food products. Besides its calming and antiseptic effects, lavender has antispasmodic properties, making it useful in treating symptoms of gastrointestinal distress, including gas and bloating. It also has been used traditionally to treat headaches, particularly migraines, and to induce sleep. Scientifically, lavender oil has been studied for its potential to treat a variety of conditions, including anxiety disorders, postorative pain, and even alopecia hair loss. Clinical trials have shown that inhaling lavender, oil can reduce the severity of migraine headaches and other studies indicate that it may improve sleep quality. 9. Golden Seal Golden Seal is a versatile herb that was used not just as a medicine, but also as a dye and a flavoring. The bright yellow color of its roots comes from berberine, a bioactive compound that has been studied for its antimicrobial and immune-boosting properties. In folklore, Golden Seal has an association with magical protection and was sometimes used as a charm to ward off evil spirits. This adds an interesting cultural layer to its practical applications. It was often used as an eye wash to treat eye infections and as a mouthwash for oral health, given its antibacterial properties. Berberine has been studied for its potential to regulate blood sugar and cholesterol, providing possible applications in treating type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. However, more research is needed in these areas. 10. Bearberry Bearberry leaves contain a unique compound called abatin, which is metabolized into hydroquinone in the body. Hydroquinio has antiseptic properties, making bearberry a commonly used remedy for urinary tract infections. The compound not only acts as a diuretic encouraging the flushing out of harmful bacteria, but it also directly inhibits bacterial growth in the urinary tract. One of the less known applications of bearberry is its use as a food preservative. Native Americans recognized that the leaves could extend the shelf life of stored foods, particularly meat. This function likely ties back to the plant's antimicrobial properties, inhibiting the growth of bacteria and other microorganisms that cause spoilage. While bearberry is known for its medicinal properties, it also had other practical applications in Native American life. The berries themselves were sometimes used as a food source. Although not as palatable as other berries, they were consumed in times of scarcity or used in soups and stews. Furthermore, bearberry leaves were often mixed with tobacco or other herbs for smoking. While the health implications of smoking are generally negative, this historical usage demonstrates the plant's versatility. Bearberry also had its place in Native American ceremonies. The plant was often included in spiritual rituals for its perceived ability to cleanse and purify both the body and the environment. This was usually achieved by burning the leaves and allowing the smoke to fill a space, similar to the way sage is used in smudging rituals. There you have it, folks, the top 10 medicines that Native Americans have used for centuries. Fascinating, isn't it? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more incredible content. Until next time, 